As Irma threatens Florida, leaders here in Louisiana met Monday to make sure the state is prepared. People in New Orleans, like Alexa Dow, say they're ready. Yeah, I absolutely think it's important to have a plan in place. So does Governor John Bell Edwards, especially when it deals with people getting to higher ground. That we know how we're going to evacuate and, and where those uh, evacuation routes are going to take people. And the governor says recent storm damage in Texas from Harvey will not affect any possible evacuations or contraflow here. Almost certainly it will not include I-10 going into Texas. In fact, the state says if evacuations are called, they'll start in low-lying areas through New Orleans, meaning the areas in red will be first, then orange, and then Metro New Orleans, which is in yellow. The next step would be contraflow, a last resort act. Contraflow is when all lanes of interstate traffic flow one way and there is no exit until people get to higher ground. If contraflow is used, traffic will flow north on I-10 to Slidell, where I-12, I-59, and I-10 all meet. From there, people can decide which way they need to go. Westbound contraflow will take people to Baton Rouge, to I-10 and I-12, and from there, it'll stop. Traffic that would, would, would typically go on I-10 west into Texas and move it north on I-49. And people here in New Orleans not taking Irma or any other storm lightly. Yeah, I think it's hard to be from this area and not be a little wary, especially given Louisiana's history with hurricanes, with uh, Gustav hitting Baton Rouge the way it did, with Katrina hitting New Orleans the way it did, and now with Harvey hitting Houston the way that it did. Um, yeah, I personally am a little wary.